Here we are, making panels in a house that Justin built with trusses. Trusses? How do you, how do you, are you happy with the trusses? I am absolutely thrilled with the trusses. Really solid looking structure, eh? No trusses. Yeah, that's about half my weight I just put on it, so... 300 and... 10 pounds right there. Nice. So Justin is uh, helping me, basically doing for me, making these panels for our haunt. We got nine panels to build today. And uh, three of them are down. Then some work on the staircase, right? And yep. then we're uh, and then he's gonna use the rest of his day to work on this stuff. What's what's the thing with the pool noodles? Okay, so basically there's a bit of an overlap. Um, you can see the dark patch. That's where the the middle tarp overlaps the end tarp. So there's there's kind of um, a potential of water getting in through there. So I built basically just a dam so that it increases the slope this way and hopefully the water will all go that way if uh... yeah if and, and we've, rain. we've yet to done a test run here because it's freaking stinking hot and no sign of rain anywhere well I did take a hose to it yesterday oh did you? okay great and it, it stands up pretty well okay um, but some was getting in through that edge so that's why over I, on this side? well just where that seam is so oh, okay. that's, that's why I did what I did this is round two on the saw how many metric inches are we doing here? We're doing 33 metric inches All today. Right. Sweet. And Mark Fawcett's going to be annoying because I haven't fixed the guard on this thing. Mm -hmm. Brad Goodspeed's going to be annoyed because I'm not using eye protection. But this is just how we do. Bam, son. It smells like Canadian maple wood in here. So that's what we're cutting. <laughs> Sometimes you can see the syrup coming out of the end grain. Indeed. None on this piece. Now we're working on is a dropped panel. Sean, how are you liking the temperature in this tent? Oh, it's hot. Nice. I think we have to get naked here later on. Well, that's that's an automatic. We don't have to tell you to do that though. First test drive of the drop panel. Go. Yeah, so it works. Awesome. Okay, this is the next day. Everybody's left. Um, we got nine panels done yesterday and then two of these stair panels. Uh, it was basically Justin and his brother Matt who built these for me. I'm not the most uh, carpentry inclined and Justin's not the most uh, wait for the not carpentry inclined to help him. So he just kind of takes charge. So he built these panels for me. I'm very grateful for that. Um, so I've got uh, nine different panels of different colors. This is just a rough paint job that the guys did. Sort of threw on some paint, um, primer, and then some couple, a couple of colors. And then I'm going to have another painting day next weekend to do um, detail work on these panels. Then Justin started getting um, his haunt going in the afternoon. Started working on some of his stuff. So he started working on sort of one of these rooms here. And he's got a floor plan up on the wall, which... I'll just show you very briefly. Um, I don't know if he wants me to be showing this to people or not, but um, he's putting in a little floor here, um, and there's going to be, you know, he's just started getting some of the walls up. We lugged down a whole bunch of uh, spare wood that he had from another haunt, so he's got all this wood here to build stuff with. No good. Looking forward to getting this maze kind of going now. So, Justin, part of the reason I'm making this video is to show Justin what the roof looks like. I got some sagging there. Um, it looks like water did not get through into this stuff, although it is covered. I don't see any water on my panel, so I wouldn't worry about that. So, anyways, that's where we are right now. The Butcher Province Town and Red Scare builds. Um, looks like it's going well. Oh, there's some water up there as well. We're going to address all these issues. I think he's throwing another tarp over all of this. But uh, man, was it hot in here yesterday when we were working. Holy crap. We had fans going and we tried to open the roof a bit. But it was hot. It's really hot here in southern Ontario this week. And um, this weekend in particular was uh, just completely overwhelmingly hot in here. But we figured out a way to deal with it with like six dudes in here. It was not a lilac scented affair, let's put it that way. Anyways, things are progressing. That's what I can tell you for now. And until next time.
Gluckliches Frequentieren.